Well, good afternoon, everybody. So nice to see such a great turnout for such a historical day. I am Charlene Johnson, the Minister of Innovation, Business and Rural Development. Today, I'm pleased to be joined by the Honourable Kathy Dunderdale, Premier of Newfoundland and Labrador, the Honourable Keith Hutchings, Minister of Fisheries and Aquaculture, Earl McCurdy, President of the Fish, Food and Allied Workers, and Derek Butler, Executive Director of the Association of Seafood Producers. I'm also pleased to welcome fishing industry representatives, many who are in the room today, members of the business community, MHAs, and guests who have gathered here at the rooms this afternoon to participate in this historic announcement for the fishing industry in our province. Just over a week ago, we were pleased to announce details on the agreement in principle reached by the federal government and the European Union on a comprehensive economic and trade agreement where our government negotiated unprecedented opportunity for Newfoundland and Labrador. I'm extremely proud to be here today to participate in a groundbreaking announcement which will positively impact the fishing industry in Newfoundland and Labrador for generations to come. What a fitting location to talk about our fishery at the rooms where our province's history and heritage are on display and whose design mirrors the fishing rooms where families in years past came together to process their catch. Without a vision for our province, strategic negotiating, and the conviction to better position Newfoundland and Labrador, we would not be here today. And the person who has led us here is Premier Dunderdale. I would now like to welcome the Honourable Premier Dunderdale to go into the details of this historic announcement. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. It is a great pleasure to be here today to make a historic announcement for the revitalization of our fishery, one that will transform this critical industry into the strong, vibrant economic driver of rural prosperity we all know can be. I want to thank Mr. Earl McCurdy and Mr. Derry Butler for joining us for today's announcement. And I welcome all the representatives of various sectors of the provincial fishing industry who are present here today. The fishery is so much more than an industry to the people of our province. It is the legacy of our forefathers and mothers. It is the food that fed us the economy that sustained us, and the culture that shaped us. It is our birthright and our heritage. It is woven into the very fabric of history and identity of Newfoundland and Labrador. That is why transforming the industry into a stable, thriving, and revitalized part of our economy is critical to us all and why the recent CETA announcements, coupled with today's announcement, signal a pivotal point in the history of the fishing industry in this province. The Comprehensive Economic Trade Agreement between Canada and Europe will provide our fishery with unfettered access to the richest seafood market in the world, ushering in a new era of opportunity for the provincial fishing industry. When presented with such an opportunity, it is important to meet it with whatever resources you can muster so that you can take full advantage. With that in mind, we set about securing a commitment from the federal government for a fund to ensure we were able to seize every opportunity afforded by the hard-won benefits of CETA. I am very proud to announce today that we are about to see an infusion of resources, creativity, and money into the fishery, the like of which has never been seen before. We have negotiated an agreement with the federal government to create a $400 million fund to transform our fishing industry. <laughs> Thank 
you. <laughs> the fund will be cost shared on a 70-30 federal provincial basis and will be focused on enhancing the global competitiveness of our fishing industry so we can fully capitalize on unrestricted access to the European Union and the rest of the world. Specifically, the fund will be used to support research and development, new marketing initiatives, fisheries research, and enhancement to provincial fisheries infrastructure. The unprecedented level of investment in Newfoundland and Labrador's fishing sector is a game-changing development. One that puts us in a pivotal position to establish our products throughout Europe quickly while pursuing continuous improvement in every facet of the industry. The provincial government strongly advocated for the beneficial terms achieved through the comprehensive economic trade agreement between Canada and the European Union. We knew this was an opportunity to revitalize the fishery. And through collaboration with the federal government, we have now created significant resources to take full advantage of opportunities through CETA and continue our success as one of the most vibrant economies in the Union. Isn't that wonderful? What a wonderful time to be in Newfoundland and Labrador. <laughs> a natural question that arises from su such a substantial gain would be, how was this funding arrangement negotiated? As you know, achieving unrestricted access to European Union seafood markets required the provincial government to provide an exemption to minimum processing requirements for these markets. While the provincial government and industry agree that the economic gains that have been achieved justify the exemption, minimum processing requirements have been an important part of how the province maximizes value from fish resources. In recognition of the significance of the provincial government's decision to relax its minimum processing requirements for European markets, the federal and provincial governments will provide 280 million and 120, 120 million respectively to significantly enhance the industry's capacity to compete globally, which will promote economic prosperity for Newfoundlanders and Labradorians. The gains achieved through the negotiations with the federal government are a credit to our negotiating team. And what a negotiating team we had. Will all of you stand or raise your hands so that we can acknowledge your work and honor it as well? Come on. I also want to recognize the efforts of the Honorable Ed Fast, Minister of International Trade, for his role in achieving a tremendous fish and seafood package for Canada. I look forward to working with the federal government and exploring additional ways to create greater economic prosperity for Newfoundlanders and Labradorians. The positive outcomes resulting from the terms we successfully negotiated through the CETA process along with the establishment of the 400 million fishery transformation fund, will contribute greatly to continuing our success as one of the most vibrant economies in the nation. Our storied fishery, having sustained us here for centuries, will once again drive rural prosperity and expand well beyond the billion dollar mark it has already achieved. I look forward to working with industry to optimize the financial resources and the vast opportunities afforded through these two important and unprecedented agreements. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Premier. We are all very proud of the gains our province has made with CETA, and in particular for the fishery. And it is through your conviction and leadership that we are in this position today. When reviewing correspondence in my first few days in IBRD, it became quite evident to me 
that your hard work and your steadfast approach to stand up for the people of the province has achieved great outcomes. This new fund represents an investment in the future of the fishery in Newfoundland and Labrador and builds on achievements made in CETA negotiations. The Canadian-European Union Comprehensive Economic and Trade Agreement and new Fishing Industry Transition Fund will provide new opportunities for the fish fishing industry to build capacity and will support positive transition for communities and individuals in the industry. To provide some further information on how this fund will enhance the provincial government's ability to collaborate with industry on vital projects, please welcome Minister Keith Hutchings. Thank you, Charlene. What a great couple of weeks to be Minister of Fisheries. <laughs> Thank you, Minister Johnson. Certainly a pleasure to be here today in an event that brings government and industry together to celebrate significant achievement, one that provides significant funding to help extend our reputation as a world-class exporter of seafood throughout Europe. As Minister of Fisheries and Agriculture and former Minister of Innovation, Trade and Development, I can certainly speak personally to the amount of effort that went into achieving these favorable terms for the province's fishery through CETA. Like many others here today, I want to thank Premier Dunderdale. I saw firsthand her initiative, her vision, and her determination to see us through these proceedings. I also want to thank former Fisheries and Agriculture Minister and current Natural Resource Minister Derek Daly for his significant contribution and ex certainly express appreciation for my colleagues, the fishing industry representatives, and the public servants who contributed their talent and time to this very important file. Together we've achieved a tremendously successful outcome for the province of Newfoundland and Labrador. Our collective efforts have not only gained unrestricted access to the most lucrative seafood market in the world, but also gathered an unprecedented amount of funding to make enhancements that should significantly improve our ability to compete in international seafood markets. I anticipate we'll have great success rolling out projects that will advance our harvesting and processing technology, our approach to fishery science, our fisheries infrastructure throughout the province, and efforts to brand and promote our seafood products throughout the EU. My confidence comes from the fact that the provincial government already partners with industry regularly to pursue enhancements through our Fisheries Technology and New Opportunities Program and the provincially funded Canadian Centre for Fisheries Innovation. In addition, the provincially funded Centre for Fisheries Ecosystem Research regularly collaborates with industry representatives to support our efforts as the only province in Canada that engaged in its own fishery science activities. Since 2010, the provincial government has committed more than $12 million to increase knowledge about the status of ground fish stocks in a changing ecosystem and to protect the sustainability of the industry. Mr. McCurdy himself can speak to the level of partnership he has enjoyed with the provincial government in the area's fishery science, as we have financially supported FFAW science initiatives that include areas such as the Northern Gulf Cod Science Program, the new cod tagging project near 2J3KL, a hell about tagging project on the West Coast, the industry DFO postseason snow crab survey, and the lobster science logbook and at sea sampling initiative. The provincial government certainly appreciates the FAW's contribution to research and is now in a position to pursue even more valuable science activity with the industry. The fisheries technology and new opportunities program that I mentioned previously is also a point of pride for our government with respect to the way we support success in the fishery. This program helps continuously improve the way provincial seafood is brought to tables throughout the world, making Newfoundland and Labrador's billion dollar fishing and agriculture industry more competitive globally. More than 230 research and development projects have been made possible through the provincial government's commitment of $12 million in this particular program. These programs support research into making improvements to harvesting and processing equipment, as well as exploring innovations in our approach to market seafood. As certainly Mr. Butler can attest, there are many processors who have availed of this program to, to gain greater efficiency in their plants or develop new products and markets. And their experiments create knowledge that benefits the entire industry. So as you can see, government and industry have already engaged in close collaboration on a number of fronts to pursue industry enhancement. And with this new $400 million fund, we are positioned to take the industry to places well beyond what could have been imagined in previous years. Working together, we will enhance the fishery status as a key driver of our diverse nation-leading economy. 
We will safeguard the interests of rural communities and promote prosperity for families who make their income from the sea. Most of all, we will continue to engage in comprehensive, long-term thinking that results in enduring prosperity for current and future generations of Newfoundlanders and Labradorians. Thank you very much. Thank you, Minister Hutchings. Partnerships and collaboration are critical, and working together with industry leaders will position the fishery for success. I would now invite Earl McCurdy, President of the Fish, Food and Allied Workers, to provide some insight on what this investment will mean to the provincial fishery. Thank you, Minister. Good day, Premier, Ministers, uh, MHAs and ladies and gentlemen. Uh, a few, uh, in the last 10 days or so, a number of people with microphones have expressed an interest in what my views might be on the European, uh, the recently announced European Free Trade Agreement. And in a nutshell, what I say is I believe this gives us an opportunity uh, to, uh, to uh, really improve our industry. Uh, I believe this announcement today of this fund gives us a wherewithal to really realize that opportunity and make the best of it. Uh, I think that what this is all about, what we have to focus on, is not bricks and mortar and, and hardware. I think it's all about ideas. It's about value. It's about quality. It's about product innovation. It's about market uh, uh, development. It could be about inventory financing. There's an endless list of areas of endeavor where a, a bit of resources to, to kind of kickstart it could make a tremendous difference to our industry. Our inshore council, the members of whom are, are here today from all over the province, uh, was me is meeting, this was meeting for the past day and a half, and so many of the topics we discussed, you could see the, the relevance and the pertinence of this announcement, uh, even though I had to keep it under my hat, despite, <laughs> despite, despite considerable pressure to, to spill the beans. <laughs> but spill the beans I did not do, <laughs> I'm pleased to point out. With, with, re, with respect to the uh, science projects that uh, Minister Hutchings just mentioned, uh, I, it's a matter of real pride to me that in our organization, in any given year, about 800 fish harvesters participate in some form of science uh, work, data collection, so we better un understand the, uh, you know, the stocks that are, our, that are our lifeblood. I believe the opportunities to do that can only be enhanced here, and I think it's very necessary that this occur, particularly in the light of the continuing downsizing of the, uh, of the federal science capacity. So this, I believe this is good news. I certainly congratulate and commend the Premier and, and the government for this. I mean, this gives us uh, the wherewithal. I'll certainly look forward to the opportunity to uh, contribute our ideas to what might be the best way a most strategic and effective way to use these funds for the, just increase the, the size of our pie. Uh, we, you know, we improving incomes, improving quality, uh, uh, creating, you know, greater stability in enterprises and in communities. Those are the kinds of goals that we should be uh, seeking with this. I look forward to working on it. And again, my congratulations. I think this gives us a chance to make some, uh, some real headway in our, in our fishery. I think it's, an, it's a very good day especially for coastal Newfoundlanders and Labradorians. And thank you very much for that. Thank you very much, Earl. Um, I asked Alistair how Earl and Derek responded when they were told in the briefing, and let's just say, Premier, you're better now than Santa Claus is. <laughs> I would now like to... <laughs> Our interpretation, not his words. <laughs> not quite, but I interpreted. Um, I now invite Derek Butler, Executive Director of the Association of Seafood Producers, to say a few words. Derek? At the risk of losing my job, or maybe Earl losing his, I kind of agree. <laughs> <laughs> Premier Dunderdale, Minister Johnson, Minister Hutchings, distinguished guests, members of the House of Assembly, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Association of Seafood Producers, I'm pleased to join with you all today in this good news announcement related to the future of our fishery. It's clear that tariffs on Canadian seafood entering the EU represent a significant challenge to the ability of our industry, of my members, uh, to sell into that market. 
And so we've worked long and hard, as many of you know, at home and in Europe to effect change in the tariffs. In our efforts to support the negotiations around CETA, for example, we were clear and consistent. Immediate tariff elimination, immediate market access to the most discerning seafood market in the world. The work of the province and of the federal government in achieving just that is remarkable. It is, as I said at the announcement of the CETA agreement, a game changer. And if the game changed with that announcement, the game has now swung decidedly in our favor with today's announcement, a winning position for the industry, for government, for all who are affected by and invested in our province's fishery. For my members, who represent over 90% of this province's current sales into the EU market, today's announcement on the creation of this fund represents a significant opportunity to build on current sales, to position ourselves for this market, and as the Premier said, for others. It's easy to be skeptical, even cynical, on a good day in the fishery. It is the last buffalo chase, if you like, the last wild animal protein that you can put on your plates, and completely healthy at that. And that wildness brings with it an element of chaos, unpredictability, if you like, even on occasion, irrationality. If I was speaking before Earl, I wasn't supposed to say that last part, because I... <laughs> he'd say, speak for yourself. <laughs> but in recent weeks, and no, one, and no one believes in magic bullets or quick fixes in the fishery, but in recent weeks, with the announcement of the CETA deal, and now today with this new industry fund, you would be hard-pressed, I hope, to say this is not a significant, indeed a historic time for the fishery, a bright day for an industry that remains such a crucial part of our cultural, social, and economic story. It's one that processors are proud to be a part of, to be engaged in, to live off, and for me personally, to represent. For the seafood processors in this province, who buy, process, and sell some $1 billion of seafood year in and year out, who employ thousands of Newfoundlanders and Labradorians, pay out millions in payrolls in rural communities, this represents a significant achievement. We look forward to working with you, the government, on how we can ensure sound investments in the best interest of tomorrow. Congratulations, Premier Dunderdale, on behalf of the Association of Seafood Producers, to you, to your ministers, to your officials, and your federal counterparts. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Derek. Uh, Derek, as you know, I represent a very prominent fishing district, and when you say on occasion, I think you meant to say every spring. <laughs> it certainly is a proud day to be a Newfoundlander and Labradorian. And under Premier Dunderdale's guidance, October 29, 2013, will go down in history as a milestone investment for the fishery in our province. Thank you all so much for joining us today. We invite you to stay around and enjoy a few refreshments. Premier Dunderdale, Ministers Hutchings, Earl McCurdy, Derek Butler, and myself will be available to the media to the right of the stage here in a few minutes. So thank you all so much for coming out today, and thank you for joining the Premier and all of us in such a historical day in the fishery. Thank you. Thank you.